How's it going, everybody? It's the Black Car Guru back with another video. Now, before we got five sevens, the six ones, the 6.2 Hemis, the six fours, you had the Chrysler LA engine family. So in 1964, Chrysler went into production with their LA engine family, which was meant to replace the A series engines or A engines. These A engines utilize what is known as a poly head or just heads that utilize a single shaft on top of both heads. And this is way different than the Hemis. The Hemis utilize two rocker shafts on both sides. Now, the LA engines differed a whole lot. They weighed 50 pounds less. They had wedge-shaped combustion chambers and just a whole lot more goodies that made it better than the A engines. Now, when it comes to the 318, you know, small block Mopar, you can't really compel. You can take a 5.3 and dog walk pretty much the whole LA engine family with heads, cam, and intake only. But if you want a Mopar engine that's nastier than a blind pescatarian who can't tell the difference between a fish market and a strip club, you need to go for the Mopar 400s, the 383 Mopars, and the 440 Big Blocks. Hell, you could take a 440 Big Block, stroke it to 508, you know, um, Eagle Rods, Forge Scat Crank, Forge Pistons, and give it a 250 shot of nitrous, man, you will be a threat. Hell, built examples of the 440 Mopar making six to 700 foot pound of torque to the wheels. Then you take that torque monster and drop it in a Plymouth duster. You can find millions of these on Facebook Marketplace for the low. I'm talking anywhere from two to $8,000 for a good example. The top shelf examples be like 10 to $20,000, but we ain't gonna talk about that. I'm gonna go ahead and end this argument right now. I really am. So I posted a video about a Honda Civic, right? And you know, the whole power to weight ratio shit. So in the comments, you have people going, oh, well, it might beat my scat or it might beat my Hellcat or my SS, but I still get bitches though. I get more bitches than, than a Honda Civic. Let me tell you something. I, I usually don't stray off the topic of cars, trucks, motorcycles, or anything automotive, but let me tell you something. This on some real Memphis shit, like real fucking shit. These bitches do not give a fuck about what car you drive. You could drive a Lamborghini, have a big ass seven bedroom, seven bathroom house worth about four point five million dollars. She's still going to cheat with a motherfucker who fresher than you, but don't have no car at all. Like, bro, that is not a flex. Having multiple bitches because of your car is not a flex anymore. You want to know what a flex is? Actually finding a damn good woman that's actually got your back. The rest of these hoes, outside of the woman that I just, type of woman I just named, these bitches will backdoor you to the opposition because they rent late. Like, seriously, bro, like, cars are one thing, but when you bring women into the mix, that's just be to deflect the whole loss that you took from that Honda or a vehicle you didn't expect to beat your muscle car. Yeah, you might have beat me, but I still got a bad bitch in my passenger. Like, bro, bro, let's be honest. She bad as motherfucker, but I bet she work at FedEx. And the only thing in her cabinet is some goddamn spaghetti noodles, no spaghetti sauce, motherfucking Campbell's chunky soup, and some two-week-old loaf of bread she ain't even open yet. Oh, let's not forget the almighty ramen noodles. Like, stop trying to flex with hoes who save your number is free food in her phone. <laughs> Thank you, the main dude. She got you saved as munch.